Welcome to the Apex Games Museum. Here, history is no mystery. Join us as we drop into the past and present of your favorite pulse-pounding competition. The hype for Season 17 is actively growing every day, and the information that we're actually getting is growing as well with more information dropping by the minute essentially and two teasers dropping today regarding the upcoming Apex Legends Museum. There is definitely a ton of stuff to talk about and we don't even have the patch notes yet and we have just around one week remaining before the launch of Season 17 here in Apex Legends. And honestly, I for one cannot wait for the upcoming season. But first, guys, if you enjoy the channel and you want to help me out, then how about taking the time to like this video? And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Now, as it stands, guys, we have just over a week remaining before the upcoming season launch. And there is quite a bit of information that is still going to be released to the public over the next few days. So keep an eye out and we'll keep you informed on everything that we currently know about the upcoming season. But keep in mind also that you only have a little over a week left to finish up your battle pass and finish up the ranked grind because time is running short and those two things will never come back for you to have a chance at again. Because starting with season 17, we are going to be seeing brand new rank changes that could arguably change the way ranked has worked since the beginning of Apex Legends until now. But of course, guys, we're still in the middle of the Veiled Collection event, and I'm still trying to hook one of you guys up with the Caustic Prestige skin. So if you want a chance to win, check out the link in the description. You'll find multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries that will help you increase your odds of winning if you so choose. But let's go ahead and get into the situation at hand, and let's talk about ranked re-reloaded? or ranked reloaded again but essentially we are getting some massive changes to ranked once again as you may be aware the community of pro players and competitive players overall have been complaining about ranked for quite some time arguably all the way back to like season 13 when we got some major changes that essentially really didn't fit the bill and now moving forward into season 17 it looks like there's going to be some major changes once again to the ranked setup and honestly i don't know if ranked will ever be the same after this particular change now we do have interesting information coming from a newer source known as micro leaks which i'll provide a link to in the description down below however a majority of the leaks that were posted by micro leaks have actually been deleted so you're kind of unable to see what was actually talked about however a majority of what was actually leaked and talked about has been at least partially accurate up to date. Now, the fact does remain that we do not have hands on with anything quite yet, and there's still the embargo to lift over the next couple days. But we did get this right here that said, quote unquote, ladder points for the upcoming ranked season. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what ladder points actually means, it's talking about a dynamic situation where specifically the ranks are more about percentage of players than they are about tiered ranks as we see them. So currently any number of players can be active from rookie all the way to master with only 750 predators existing above master. Those are actually ladder point capable ranks. So as they move up in rank, their rank will not actually change, but their ladder position will change. Now, the way that ladder points typically work in other games, such as like CSGO, I want to say League of Legends uses a hidden system that's very much similar or akin to this, but also World of Warcraft, the old Black Ops 2 League play, and so on. Essentially, the way that the ranks actually worked was a percentage of players compared to what the players points that they have actually earned so your points will actually scale you to a, an actual location now the question is will we be seeing points generated in a much different manner than we've actually generated points over the last 
16 seasons. And the question is definitely a valid one because there will be major changes in my mind to the way the point system works in order for ladder points to actually exist. Also, typically in ladder point style ranked systems, we actually see what is known as placement matches at the beginning of your actual career, if you will, in rank. And that's not something we have in Apex Legends currently, but we did have in ranked arenas. So the question is, will we be seeing some of the ranked arenas stuff get added into the game? And how exactly will this affect the matchmaking, which is currently the biggest issue in rank other than the obvious game issues like the audio drops and visual effect issues. Now, if you factor out those and you talk about rank, the major issue is really going to be the matchmaking system and how certain players are feel as though they're not being partied with adequate teammates that would allow them to progress in the ranks. And this could be in a very, very interesting situation. Now, there's two ways you can really, really enforce people to have a better ranked experience like this. One of the ways to do so is to actually make it so you need to have a full team to play. Now, this would be seen in something like World of Warcraft way back in the day. You actually had to form an arena team to play in ranked arenas, and then you could actually earn your ladder points. However, the other way to do this is to be a very strict skill based matching making system that will put teams together in a much more appropriate manner. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this situation. Do you think ranked re reloaded is going to be any better than the current ranked system that we've been dealing with? Or do you think they are going to flop once again and release something that the community is not exactly happy with overall? Drop a comment down below and let me know what your opinion is on the upcoming rank changes, which we're not 100% confirmed on. So take everything with a grain of salt, of course, because there's definitely going to be a lot of information that pops up in the patch notes prior to the release and we'll definitely cover it. But if you guys want to continue this conversation or hey, maybe you want to start another conversation or you want to see me tearing up the respawn devs and I highly suggest you check out the social media links. I'll put them up on the screen as well as in the description down below. If you like seeing somebody that's willing to combat the respawn devs and doesn't white knight the companies, then I highly suggest you check out my social media links because I pull no punches and I will speak for the community when I have to. But of course, make sure you check out the Apex Minutes channel where I keep everything down to 60 seconds and talk only about confirmed news here in Apex Legends. But hopefully, guys, Season 17 will be full of amazing changes. But until then, here's another video that you can check out if you so choose. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, you won't be able to enjoy any of the upcoming content in Season 17 if you don't stay safe, stay healthy. And as always, have a good one.